Hi, I'm Daniel Fisher, Director of Product Optimization here at Sweetwater Sound. Today we are excited to celebrate May the 4th, or Star Wars Day, because May the 4th be with you. And we thought it'd be fun to show you how to recreate the lightsaber sound used in the movies, uh, as well as some tricks to make it uh, synchronized to any home movies you make using lightsabers. And we're going to use the brand new Novation Peak Synthesizer. Uh, it's an excellent synth, one, because of its fat analog sound, and two, because it has this mod matrix that's going to let us uh, use this mod wheel over here on this uh, Novation Impulse and all I'm going to be doing is sending MIDI mod wheel and I'm going to use the matrix to move a whole bunch of things to help simulate the sound of the lightsaber sweeping and then later I'm going to show you some tricks on how to use a lightsaber with uh, an amplifier to make it even more realistic. Okay, so first I'm going to add a sawtooth oscillator and I have it set way down at the lowest octave and even though I have it turned up, you're not going to hear it till I press a key and I don't want to bother pressing keys. So my first modulation matrix is going to be VCA level. And I'm going to turn that up with direct as a source, which means it's always on. And then we will just always have this sound. Then I'm going to bring up oscillator 2, slightly detuned. Now, I have the pitches of oscillators 1, 2, and 3 being modulated by the mod wheel. So as I do this, but I want to do more than that, so I'm also going to have the level of oscillator 3, which is going to be a different sound, and I'm going to have its level increase whenever the mod wheel turns up, so I get this. And that's going to be separate from the other sounds. And so I bring these back up, and I get this. And then to make it sound even more interesting, I add some chorus, and some delay, and some reverb. That's a pretty good lightsaber sound. It certainly has the low frequency. It has the frequency shift as you're moving a lightsaber around, but it's lacking some of the energy that you'd hear in the actual fight. And the way we're going to get that is we're going to take a lav mic and put it on the end of a lightsaber, and we're going to swing it in front of a single speaker amp, and that's going to give us both the Doppler effect and the tonal change and the amplitude change. And uh, the cool thing is, is if you have a home movie of you doing lightsaber stuff, you can do this after the fact and get a pretty close match to uh, the sound of the fight. So let's try that. So we're going to turn it up in the amp now. So there you have it. It is the lightsaber sound, and may the fourth be with you. If you have any further questions about the Novation Peak or the Impulse Controller, please contact your Sweetwater Sales Engineer. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you for listening.